Change, change, help a poor man out. Hey you, you got any money? Sorry man, I ain't got cash with me. What about some food? Yeah, no, I don't really carry around food like that. What about drugs? Oh, I wish, oh. but not today man, I'm sorry. I do have one thing though for you. I've got some meme cards! Francis Bedlam, Human Bandit. Every ally turn on turn end boosts the lowest unit in your hand by one. Now this card used to be a 4 power 8 provision card. Now it is a 6 power 8 provision card. And I actually wanted to play this for a while now, but I just never really found the inspiration to and I always kind of like forgot about it but now that they buffed it I actually have a reason to showcase this card and why it's not the greatest even in hand buff now with hand buff the thing is in general you want to target the torque or the skags but when skags and torque are already hand buffed it's very unlikely that they will be the lowest units in your hand unless you have like two more units left in your hand and those are the cards so, Francis Bedlam does suffer a lot from the fact that he is consistent with his hand buff and not random. You want the hand buff to be as random as possible and to just target uh, the right targets at random. Now, that could also backfire, but with something like Bedlam, you know you're not going to target most of the time the target you actually want to target. There's a lot of targets. But yeah, Francis Bedlam is a funny little card, and with the new additions to hand buff, with the torque buff and everything, uh, let's just see what this card can do. I mean, I'm obviously going to be playing Invigorate with uh, the good old torque, Skags. I played Triss Butterflies for some consistency. I also played the Dwarf Package. I'm not sure how good that is, but I mean, it's kind of like the best way to build your Scoriatel decks these days with like two Chariots. Zoltan Warrior, Monroe Broys, that just seems pretty OP in any deck. Then I have the far I have two Farseers. I also play Watcher of the Valley. I also play Mahakam Defender, which I might actually change to a one-off tempering, since I also play Sorceress of Dolbathana. And I kinda the, sometimes the Sorceress of Dolbathana gets damaged or it gets played off of Bountiful Harvest, and then it gets damaged, and then you have tempering to boost her up and put her into a nice range and yeah hawker support also really strong the only real like hand buff engine i'm playing is bedlam i could have played dunka but i wanted to add knickers and roach just for a little bit more consistency since the deck doesn't thin too much apart from simlas and then has tris butterflies as well for some consistency for extra mulligans in case i draw into the knickers or the roach so yeah let's just see what this deck can do for us all right, we're playing against Shield Wall. Okay, we do go first. Is this a Golden Necker list? Maybe, probably. All right, draw both of our dogs. That's not ideal. I guess here I get rid of tempering. Okay, so we have a pretty good hand for the Farseer. You will get to see the power of Farseer here quite hard. Now, I'm always questioning whether I should just Farseer Skags or if I should Farseer Torque. I think Farseering Torque is the line, usually. It seems to be the line, usually. So, go Skags, this and this, and the... F oh my god, that is... That is a big ass... If that hits Skags, this is... In oh my god, it actually hits Skags. <laughs> Holy moly, that is... That is a absurd amount of value right there holy crap that is actually kind of crazy wow i cannot believe that actually just happened i mean this looks like a deck game where we're probably just gonna lose on even and just carry over some points i'll, yeah, I'll probably just play bronzes and hope to draw into my better cards next round because I, I just have a bunch of carryover cards here. I don't want to play Maxi even. I want to like draw. I don't actually want to get rid of these cards yet. Because I do assume that he will just play way too much tempo this round. Alright. We got a big chariot. And as I said, I don't think I will actually opt to push for this round much. 
Okay, that's that's good that he commits that. That's actually very good. That that's a very scary card in later rounds. That is an incredibly scary card in later rounds. Uh obviously buff the torque here. I'm not even ahead of him. That's Oh my god, it hit Skags again. Oh my goodness. Look at these two chunky lads. What the hell is that, dude? How is that even fair, bro? All right, I'm passing. Hopefully Nickers, I actually want Nickers to come out next round. Ah, he does come out. That sucks. Whatever. What you gonna do? Alright, so he's gonna obviously bleed me to death. And I am considering actually mulliganing the Skags now. Wait, what? He's going a card down? Why is he... Excuse... Why is he going a card down here? He went a card down just to play six carry over for the next what what why that makes like no sense dude all right i hope i draw see yeah now i'm actually considering mulliganing skags because like now with triss as well oh yeah, yeah, yeah because we can now draw into our munro with triss and actually keep skags from dying all right that is Actually, a very nice target for this. I might actually use my leader charge on it so he has more bleeding. And I want to give it to you and you. So now this... No, this, this, gives, this gives two bleeding. Yeah, I think giving bleeding here is appropriate. So what do I mulligan? I think I mulligan one of the dwarf and chariots. Look at this big ass torque, dude. How much does Skags is? This is a thirty point Skags right now. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. So we mulligan you for you. Get our roach out as well. Now we're starting to pile on some pressure. I'm going to play the Chariot next. Okay. That's fine with me. We are just going to open up to this. I might hit. Okay, so he gives it that. All right, that's fine. All right, I'm hoping to hit maybe the, the boy. Please hit the boy. Yes, they hit the boy. We are now in a winning position. You love to see it. We haven't been able to play Bedlam yet, but I'll probably play Bedlam this turn. No reason to just commit Zoltan for no, if we're not gonna like win. So now we, oh, he passes. Well, that's fine. <laughs> That's very fine. Alright, now I just need to draw Skags again. And I'm a happy, happy little boy. Should be, should be possible, right? It should be possible. To Ah, oh, there he is! <laughs> Back in my hand. Alright, uh, that's a really good hand, huh? We can boost this up by like a bunch. Yeah. I mean, I love, maybe I like... Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to draw into. All right, let's go with this. Six. Oh my god, that is so good. So maybe. If, oh, we have to. Okay, so we have to actually play this a bit weird, don't we? So we have to play Francis first. Oh, okay, so that's what's going on. That's. That is a bit scary, especially with the shield. He hasn't boosted her though. Golden Necker. Okay, so now I boost her. Okay. Hmm. I mean if I if I hit the shield. If I just ping the shield here, I'm I'm good, right? Could also give the bleeding. I gotta play Maxi first. Okay, so we would have drawn in. 
into a sorceress actually instead of the bountiful harvest which is a bit disappointing but what you gonna do okay that's kind of bad all right go for the bountiful uh this is actually pretty good purifies the shield this doesn't do anything anymore right yeah Okay, uh, I guess we'll go half elf hunter since we do have some some tags here. All right, so I think I have to play the watcher now, otherwise I lose some bleeding value. Hey, hey, wow. Okay, so I think I need to kill this. Okay, I can't kill this just yet. That is a lot of points, huh? So gold necker deck's still good, huh? Who would have thunk that a good deck is still good? Yeah, we're, we're probably losing this. I mean, we have a pretty freaking obnoxiously huge Skags. Alright, that's our Zoltan. Lovely Zoltan. So he locks that, okay. I mean, to be fair though... I just have to do this now, right? doesn't kill it, but it does a lot here. Rogner's a big boy as well. I don't have a tree ant, so I just go for the five value on this. All right, Rogner shouldn't be enough here, right? I hope. And that is all. He still has a lot of points here. This Rogner is quite massive. Is it enough though? No, it is not! It is not. Let's go. How big was the raw? 31 points. That's kind of crazy. Alright. Jackpot. Okay, that is a. I'm not sure how good that is. Like, if we give them the long round, we just lose, right? So we kind of don't want to give them the long round. Hmm. Very interesting. So what do I want with Triss here? I guess I want my Simlas. I'll probably Mulligan. I have a Farseer, so I can actually go a little ham then. Okay. Alright, invigorate me, baby. We go boom, 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 boom. And then maybe Triss now? To get the Simlas? I actually like that idea. Because now I can play Farseer next turn as well. We have a pretty good hand though. Maybe too good. Maybe a little too good. But Roach gives us some nice additional tempo. Oh, and we hit the Skags because we're such good gamers, dude. We are god gamers. Actual god gamers. Yeah, this assassin card. I mean, it is actually kind of good, dude. Anything that says poison can't be bad, right? I don't think it can, right? Doesn't seem that way. Alright. Well, he's doing something. Alright. Torque hit Skags again. I'll take that. Get my boy out as well. I mean, at the end of the day, I can I can commit Simlas this round as well. I guess I could have maybe used that. Okay, so he that is expensive, really. He's gonna play that now. That's interesting. I would expect this card to be more valuable, this card especially, in this deck. Sure. That is fine. This is perfectly fine. So I think Simlas this round actually doesn't seem too bad. Oh, but he's playing Morale. Nah, I need, I need to kill this. 
This one I kill for sure. If he passes, I think I'll use a leader charge and watch her. I need eight points. Oh, Watcher's just a seven. I need to use full leader then. Oh, that's annoying. Um, so then he's a seven deal one. Oh, but that's not even enough then. Do I have to use Simlas here? I think I do, right? It feels bad. But we have a good... Because now it doesn't matter like what we get. We just want to get the max value off of Torque. Oh, yeah. See, this I like. All right, now we need to bleed this guy. Hopefully I draw Mundro and Chariot. Mundro is good enough. Mundro is indeed good enough. Um... Okay, that's good. As I said, Munro, good card. Oh, baby, I freaking love this game sometimes. So, Rebukes. Eh. Eh, ah, that's better. That's actually very better. So, these are going to be our last four cards in hand. These, the, the Sorceress, Skags, what, Valley, and Torque. Really? You're gonna yoink that? I mean, I'll take it, whatever. Realistically, I can kill this. This doesn't have... Wait, does this have adrenaline? It actually does. That's annoying. Whatever. I only need one of these. So we're just gonna pile on some pressure. That's a good engine. Question is, do I pass here? Huh, we're getting four plus two, we're getting six more points. There's a consideration to 2 0 this guy, realistically. There is actually a very big consideration to 2 0. I think I'm actually 2 0 ing here. This seems like a very 2-0 favored situation for me now. So I want to go Sorceress here. Because there are chances that I find the Watcher of the Valley off of the... Oh, that's so good. Those hits were so good. Oh my god, we actually... What? Wow. We got super lucky, dude. Holy moly, did we get lucky here. Alright. Bountiful Harvest. Oh, that's also pretty good. I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. I mean... This is looking like a very nice, solid 2-0 here. Yeah, that deck. Okay, see now I'm thinking of passing. See, this is a good pass now. See, now it's a, it's a pretty good pass. He's down by 30, for God's sakes. And he's getting like a bleeding, constant bleeding. Nah, I, mean, I might have, I might have had to. No, nah, no, no. I'm actually happy with the way I played this. I'm actually, kind of happy with the way I played it. See, because now he has to play this, and now he has to go Salamander. Like he's going down cards here, and we probably just win because our our big boy. Wait, stop hitting the bleeding dude! Come on. <laughs> Why? Why did you hit the bleeding dude constantly? There's the Salamander. Is that even enough? Oh yeah, it is, of course. That is more than enough. Alright. Well, we have... This. <laughs> I mean, there's not much... Uh, really that... You can say other than that, that's pretty crazy. Okay, right. I actually want a Sorceress now in hand. Ooh, baby, yes! Let's go! What a draw. Could have also been Hawker Smuggler would have also been really nice here, actually. We have double ass say with these boys, so I, I think I think I think we're looking good here. I think this is a this is an okay situation to be in. If we still lose this, the deck sucks. It's obviously then the deck's fault. I could kill this. 
I could actually kill this already. But I want to do this first. He has... He has no coins. But that's annoying. That's a lot of points still. But it's just making my skags bigger. Okay. Do you have the poisons, sir? I guess he's dealing eight now. Oh, he's, he's got, he can do a lot of stuff here, actually, come to think of it. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. This at six is so annoying, dude. <laughs> Generally, every every card that's printed as a six is always a bit difficult. All right, so he has a lot of points here. He still has leader, but I think I think we're just good here because like we have like fifty points in our hand here. Yeah, like this this is a I think this alone is enough already. I guess not anymore. Okay. He, did spend effectively. All right, boom. Get poisoned, the big boy. Boom. All right, that wasn't even close. Yeah, we played that pretty well. Uh, round one went really good for us. Uh, it was a bit weird to play sim last, but other than that, we actually did really well. All right, we are facing the mighty fruits. Okay, uh, fruits. Oh, as long as they go first, it's not as bad. Okay, I have I have the dwarf package though, so can I can actually compete for the round if I wanted to. Double Watcher is really good. I can draw Skags and Mulligan like a tempering. Hmm. Do I pile on pressure here? Huh. An interesting consideration to actually pile on the pressure because I got a pretty decent hand I have answers for oh he doesn't play TA that's really good for me not playing tactical does this oh it doesn't put on bottom it just shuffles okay okay well I think it's appropriate to just do this now just some early game here. Give my skag some some juice already. Well, okay, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty set on wanting to <clears throat> use my. Okay, so that's that has to die. That just has to die. All right, how far am I willing to go here? Okay, it's a bit scary. Okay, get the doggo out as well for some extra tempo. Love to see it. Alright, there's that. We are just going to Munro now. I think I actually need to bop this down. For sure. Okay. What's he getting? He's getting rat catchers. Okay. So we do this, this, pop this, and get some extra points here. Uh, I think I will also use this, 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 and this, so I can go hawker support next turn. Oh yeah, give that skags the boost. All right, Scoytel playing tempo. You love to see it. Ooh. Gurney, the, oh, Gurney's, Gurney's good to see here. I hope I hit at least like one fruit or something. Alright, we hit, we hit, we hit, we hit one fruit, that's nice. Alright, now I just have to see whether... Uh, I mean, next turn his summoning circle pops off, so... If he passes here, we're happy. Really. That's pretty good. 
All right, I'm, I'm passing. That was a good... Now, we, now he doesn't keep his summoning circle, though, so I'm happy with this as well. We kind of got blown out here, but... Yeah, we, we I think we did well here, going second. I mean, I could have, like, just gone... Uh, no, I think I think I played this all right. I think I played this as... It's fine. Okay, I would like some better cards here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, okay, so we we're, we know what's going to happen here. He's just going to freaking bleed our asses. Okay, Brewis. Brewis, brew us some good stuff together here. All right, please hit the... So, okay, whatever. Um... I guess I have to go full leader here. Boost this guy up. I need this to be a six. Alright. Maybe I should have kept tempering. He probably plays Erendite as well. It's a big boy. I'll just play my four provision valley dudes. That should be a okay. All right. Um. They're actually ahead now. Wow. So he deals ten with that. Let's see if he has the other crone. The damage one. He has Parasite, though. Interesting. I guess I'm happy if he passes. I'll play Torque if he passes. Alright, I keep my Skags, my big Skags. The, sh the round is quite short. He could have, like, a Sabbath, though. Mm, Sabbath would be a bit annoying with Triss, especially. Okay. I want Simlas. Okay, that is not Simlas. That is Simlas, though. Hello. Do I need... Oh, uh, I could Brick, though. I don't want to Brick. You know what? I'm not going to Brick. I will refuse to Brick. See, that's why Farseer as a 2 of seems kind of awkward in these decks. Hmm. I'll just open with this. I guess I actually boost this in case he has the other crone, so it doesn't immediately die. I guess as he has Erendite though. I guess he does have Erendite. Uh, let's just hope this Simlas completely pops off here. Well, we played this and this. I mean, it's pretty obvious how we're sequencing this. It's gonna be a close one. As stupid as it seems, this. As, as, as it, sh it shouldn't really be a close one, but it is actually going to be a quite a close one. I guess in the short rounds, King of Beggars is better than, like, Hawker Smuggler. But it's not better than Dunka. Like, it's one provision more than Dunka, and Dunka actually has odds of hitting Torque and getting extra value. And she also deals three damage. If she's on the front row, so yeah, I mean, yeah, that's why I did that. Haha, -ha, look at that. Look at the value of the one boost from the Farseer. All right, let's see what this gives me. I have a few elves. This is a five. Yeah, I'll just take this, I guess. Oh boy, these are all pretty bad. These were all really garbage. This is a big boy. He didn't play his Erendite yet. So he has Erendite and one more card. I would assume Erendite and like... What the hell did he just discard? Or... <laughs> what? Whoa, wait. You're playing Ornid Sensor in this deck. You have got to be kidding me, bro. You actually are... No. What? That has to be a joke.
That genuinely has to be a joke. Wow, he's playing Ornit Sensor in that deck. Wow, that is, that is, whoo, with Gurney Core. Oh my God. Why would you play Ornit Sensor? All right, we're playing Stockpile. Let's get this over with. Okay, Stockpile. Interesting. We got Skags. These are actually kind of useful then. Hmm. The hand isn't bad. Maybe I don't need two rebukes. Oh, but rebuke's so strong against this deck. Especially when we go first. I guess I, I can mulligan. Ah, uh, Sherry's good as well. Uh, maybe I'll mulligan. Ah! <laughs> worst draw there. That was actually the worst draw there. That's a bit sad. Alright, we're not gonna greed out on this. I guess I guess we're going for a big fat Francis this round at least. All right, Carabalista needs to die. That card is a bit too strong. All right. That's a lot of points. I guess I can mulligan with Triss this turn. What do I want? I guess I want... Uh, do I, I think I want Simlas. Simlas is more important. Yeah, I think Simlas is fine. Because he thins my deck, so he increases the odds anyway of... Hitting the stuff I need. I think I just do this. Boost up the chariot. Maybe next turn we boost up the Wally. <laughs> Did I just say Wally? Wait, what? Did you just play Siege? Did this guy just play Siege on me? He did, didn't he? What a Giga Chad. Uh I mean if he plays Siege, I'll play Simlas. Don't really mind it. Sure. Maybe I can kill. Oh, what is that? Ha oh my god, these were terrible. These were all terrible. What the hell is this? I have to actually kill this now. Because it's like the only sort of card that actually does something here. Alright, sure. Alright, you've committed your siege. What else you got? Okay, so I, I, I don't want this living. I will just do this now. And I'll probably just pass next turn. Got a good hand. All right, AA as well. So he's he's committed big for this one. Okay. He doesn't use leader there. Oh, fudge. Ah, oh, well, how do I do this now? Well, that's not fun. Try and value bleed him here, right? Oh my goodness. I mean, I, I kind of messed up here. I kind of I kind of got greedy there. I shouldn't I shouldn't have played the the rebuke. I should have just passed after rebuke. Now he went on even. He has full leader left and probably gonna destroy me with. Uh, what's it called? The freaking. Oh, that's a good dry pass card. I don't think I actually need this anymore. I'd rather have dwarves. Okay, so that's good. 
Please don't hit the... Oh, I was hoping it doesn't hit the smuggler. But it did. Alright, so now we just want dwarf boys here. Dwarf boys, dwarf boys. What are you gonna do? That's a dwarf boy. That's not a dwarf boy, but it's still good. Okay. Uh, missed out big dwarf boy. But we move. So I can kill... I can't kill the, the Foltus Pride yet. So I do this. See what it hits. And I will use my leader here. As effectively as possible. I think I need to boost this one up. So I do need to kill the Foltus Pride the moment it drops. So I think I just go full leader here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Get some big boys. All right. So I want to obviously drop. I think I actually drop chariot front row. Make it a big boy. Hopefully he doesn't have ornate sensor. So we're gonna go sorceress next. Okay. Well, at least he doesn't have siege. So all of this actually is kind of nice. Okay. I guess the tempering also is pretty nice. Okay, does he... Lol. I guess he can kill it now with the leader charge. That's okay with me. So leader charge to kill that, that's fine though. Where's his Hensult? I'm still waiting for the Hensult. Okay, nice try. So, I always go... This guy first. Give this armor, see what this gives me. Love to see that, obviously. Uh, that's actually pretty good if it hits this, which it does not, but that's okay. That is fine. There's the hand salt. I'm guessing now drops the. Wait. Oh! Haha, <laughs> hello! Hensel is bricked. That's not very good. For you, sir. Is it now? Alright, hit the hit the one, dude. That's actually pretty good. How much does he deal? Deals nine. Ah, oh, I should have I couldn't have killed this. I guess I could have killed this now, come to think of it. Alright. Let's see it. Heat wave. I think we lose. I think we lose. We miss missing Monroe definitely hurts us here. Okay, he needs Ah this is kinda close though. Oh my god, by one fuck- Oh, one point! Oh, if only I- I guess I should've killed the freaking Hensel when I had the chance. Alright. Invigorate Mirror. Last time, it, we did pretty well. This time we go first. Let's hope it's not the Saskia variant. <laughs> Let's hope it is not a Saskia variant. Okay. That's a very good Farseer hand. That is a very solid Farseer hand. I must admit. Farseer seems pretty good here. So I think the sequencing will be Farseer, Sorceress, Crystal Skull, and then Francis. Or maybe Francis and then Sorceress. I guess, yeah, that's a better play. Oh, that's so perfect. Two leader charges. Oh, look at this value. Oh, oh my god! It's hit Skags almost every time I've done this play. That's insane value, dude. That's 
14 plus... F oh my god, that's 19 value, dude. At the cost of 2 liter charges, but still, that's that's a lot of freaking value, dude. That is a lot of freaking value, man. <laughs> oh my god, it's not even 4, it's like 14 plus like another 7, right? It's so much. That is so many points, because it also doubles up on skags, wow. That's like 21 plus 5, that's 26 points, that's crazy, dude. That is actually crazy. Oh, Mr. Opponent, you're running out of time! Uh-oh. No. Oh, that's bad. I don't think he wanted to do that. Alright, boost up the Simlas. I'll just go Sorceress next turn. Oh, there is a Saskia. Well, that's scary. That is actually quite scary. He can't get the sentry now off of Saskia, which is nice. There's the butt. I could pass. I can actually pass and not lose a card here. Wait, no, I can't. Whoops! Hmm. Sure. Actually, this is fine. Oh, that's not what I want. I guess I should have played this first. Sure. Alright. Oh, Doc actually might be... big here. This might have been enough tempo for us to accomplish something. He might actually put on... He, has to, he might actually have to play a big card here for us not to be able to pass for free. And a free pass is good. The free pass seems very strong here. His last leader charge, okay. What is he doing? Okay. Is that enough? No! <laughs> Why? Why of all the cards it had to be that one? Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, that is so freaking annoying. Alright, I mean, at this point... I'm fine to pass. We got some carryover, he got some carryover. He thinned his deck, we also kind of thinned our deck by two. So, we're kind of on the same boat here. That's nice. Second Watcher is always nice. Maxi is also good. So he's kind of forced to bleed me here. Hmm. What if maybe like the Monroe there? So I will use leader on these these four: the Watcher, the Dufa, the Bafana, and the Torque. But he's he's already played his one Watcher, so we have we have more Watchers, which actually is very important for this round, especially with our buffed off Simlas. Mm. We'll find okay, we'll find this. But this at the bottom seems kind of bad. Uh actually shuffle. If he passes, I'm happy. But I don't think he's gonna pass. So how much does this deal? Nine. Okay. I could also I can also Zoltan now. Oh, this goes to 8, though. Huh, it's a bit annoying. Alright, um... Yeah, it's a sim this is the sim last turn, I would assume. Ooh, that's actually not bad. Wait, I can't... Actually... So I have to do it like this. That's pretty good. So I'll play my watchers this round, I think. They deal four, so this is a 12. 
So I might have to play this first. Next turn. Just so I can maybe set up a kill on one of these. I will play this in leader, I think. Okay, so he's also playing the Zolt. Okay. That's fine with me. I am ahead if I do this. Yep. The bleeding does negate the defender, which is nice. Not willing. Oh, that's bad. Alright, I will use leader here. Every time. Ooh, that's good. I like that. Killing this makes me happy. And I will also deal... 5 to this. Alright. That's pretty good. He still has Simlas, to be fair. But if he passes here, I'm I'm really happy. Oh boy. Um I guess it's Zoltan time. He's value bleeding me really hard here, which is kind of bad. Well his last two cards I would assume are Twerk and Skag, so I don't think he wants to play further into this, right? He hasn't really buffed much, though. He hasn't, like, he has I mean, he hasn't played Simlas, which is kind of, like, the thing that I'm still a bit scared of. So, best hand is Chariot, Monroe, Triss. Well, that's not it, Chief. But this is a big hand, right? Okay, Monroe's nice, because I can get Chariot off of this. So we go Triss, get Chariots, go Munro. Yeah, that's okay. I'll take that. Alright, this is gonna be quite close, I think. I mean, last say... Could be quite significant here. This is... Truffle, okay. Really? That's a bit weak. He's played naked Golden Throth as well. Alright, sure. Okay, we're looking good right now. As of this moment. Okay. He has Oak. <clears throat> Alright, sure. So last card's Torque and Skags, I would assume. Wait, what? What the hell? What the hell is this garbage? Okay, sure. I mean, whatever. Nice, nice. Excuse me, what? <laughs> All right. Off the books. Sure. We go first. That is fine. Mm, only I need rebukes. That was a terrible draw. Might have actually been the worst draw in my hand. Yeah, that actually was the worst draw. Dude, this hand is ass, bro. What is this hand? Complete garbage. Actual complete garbage. Oh, boy. All right. <clears throat> sure. I'll just play my sorceresses for Mega Tempo. This is gonna be a fast game. I can I can see this guy's playing. He's, he's he's a fast player. He does not frick around with Gwent here. This guy wants to play cards 
and nothing but cards. These are all terrible. What is this? Alright, play another one. Oh, that's so strong. Oh, we got another one. That's nice. Oh, that's very good. Oh, and I actually hit the the freaking dude. All right, that's a hand. We just mulligan these two, but these are on bottom. Oh wait, that's actually bad. Uh, I think I, I dropped one harvest to the bottom here. It should be okay. He does pass. That is very good for me. Winning round one is kind of like this game, this deck's sort of ultimatum. If you are able to win round one, you are just having a blast. Because you don't really care. Okay, Hawker Smuggler. I would like the Skags. I did find the Skags. Munro also very good. I would like Triss now. That's not bad. I could just do this, right? I could just go Munro here. I don't really need... To go all in with this. Alright, do this now. I want to put as much pressure on as possible. Wait, did he refuse the tribute? <laughs> I think he accidentally refused the tribute. Okay. Ah, uh, I didn't want it to buff the sim last there. That's annoying. But what you gonna do? Okay. Yeah, shady vendor. Yeah, do we expect to see it? All right. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty good sim last here. With this hand, especially, it's kind of crazy. All right, this buffs skags. We'll take it. And this buffs. Is this enough? Ah, sure, because it buffs the Torque. Might force out some things out of him here. Nice. Good hits. Okay. Alright, this is where leader pops off like crazy. This is the insane hand. This is the god hand. The Exodia hand, if I've ever seen it. In hell, man, that's so good. All right, we still have enough turns for this bleeding. Then we give. Oh, that's so good. It's actually so good. This guy, this this horseman played for a lot of points so far. I right, give him five bleeding. Next one is a ninety oh five. His horseman has kind of done so much for him here. Candle. Is he gonna boost his? Okay, he's gonna boost this dude. All right, uh, we'll deal. We'll deal five to this then. We got a nice little lead here. Syndicate is a bit scary though. Yeah, very scary. Look, look at that! He's got points out of nothing. You gonna use that? He's gonna use that. But it's not enough. Still not enough. <clears throat> Alright, so we're tied. Yeah. <laughs> he just realized what happened there. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Alright, we are facing the mighty stockpile. Okay, we go first. That should allow us to put on some pressure. And good hand. Don't think I need that. Tempering actually isn't bad though, but I don't think it's necessary here. So what do I mulligan? I think I genuinely mulligan Torque with this hand with my Triss. I might even not use Triss. I think I'm not using Triss here. I think I like my. Ooh. I think I like my mega value. 
Oh yeah, that's mega value, huh? That is mega mega value. I should have probably boosted the skags there. Yeah, that's mega value. Look at this mega value. Alright, hit skags like you did every time today. Oh my god, it's hit him again! Wow, I am so good at this video game, guys. <laughs> I'm actually so good at this freaking video game, dude. Bow down to me. Wow. How how has this happened so many times today? It's actually happened way too many times. <laughs> That's crazy. It would be funny if I lost every game and cut them out. Like I I do cut out games where I lose, by the way, guys. Don't don't judge me for that, please. Alright. I'll just buff up our hand here. Siege? Yeah, what the hell? All right. Uh, I mean, we miss chariots. There's some chariots on the bottom. So I think I should mulligan. Really? Actual siege round one. Don't really know what to think about this. I need to kill this. Or do I kill this? I kinda wanna kill this. I guess I could have killed this because of the um crew Onero. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I mean I just have to pass here, right? This kind of forces me out. I mean, it's fine, right? This is fine, guys. With Siege out, I mean... How scared am I, really? I'm very scared, actually, come to think of it. Very, very scared. He denies me a point of carryover. That is to be expected. Oh, man. Foltus Pride is just so busted, man. Oh, he thinned his deck really well now. Okay. Don't think I want the Farseer in this hand. I have Triss, so I can actually risk the Mulligan as well. So, mute the generator. So, I do want. What do I want to find here? What do I want Triss to grab? I kind of wanted to grab the Munro. I, I will mulligan the Smuggler. That's fine. Muta Generator. If he plays uh, Raffard's Vengeance... Ah, why would he play Raffard's Vengeance in Stockpile, though? Uh, he's getting a lot of carry over here. But he's going card. He's losing his card advantage, I think, with this play. The Watcher of the Valley is such a nuts card, actually. It's got such a high ceiling. It's crazy. Okay. Sure. Hmm. I shouldn't have done this. Actually, that was a mistake. Actually, I played this first. In case I find one off of the... Like a boost card off of the Simlas. That's nice that this is three now. There's a lot of cards that actually killed this. Boiling oil? If he goes boiling oil here, he's lost so much value on the Muta Generator now. It's not enough, though. So we actually have a chance to boost this up, which is very good. Alright, let's go. Uh, I guess I like Half Elf Hunter here. And another Sorceress is never bad. Alright. We got a big Skags. 
fucking big watchers as well. Really? Okay, well, that's fair. So, we do this now. Maybe we hit this. Okay, we do not hit this. And this is just gonna be enough, I think. For us to get the value. I mean, he has a lot of carryover in his deck with the Muta Generator, but we have a lot of carryover as well. Alright, this is... This deals 8, doesn't it? Wow. That's crazy. Alright, this should be enough. These Watchers have been so good to us. They've actually done so much. Alright, watch him just win the game off of Henselt into freaking... Uh, what's it called? Foltus Pride. I mean, uh, the round's too short though, isn't it? Okay, so what are we getting here? That's actually pretty good. That's actually kind of like the best... Almost the best cards I could have asked for. Maybe this is kind of bad, though. Oh, that's fine. I like the armor on this. Okay. This deals how much? Well, now it deals 12. I think we're good here. Like even in Henseld into a One piece. Fight for it. This is a lot of wait, what is he doing? He had a soldier. He had two sol why why what? Alright, I just kill this then. Alright, sure. What you got now? What did you I'm sorry, but what did you just expect to happen? He's gonna move that back. His positioning was it made no sense there as well. Oh, AA. We has to go front row then. Wait, is he? St Dude, if he still wins this somehow, I'm gonna be a bit triggered. God, that leader is so nuts. So we have sixteen. Oh my god, we actually lost. We actually freaking lost? Bro, how did we lose? Bro, this leader is so dumb. Alright, so Francis Bedlam was not able to get us to pro, sadly. We, always, we were always so close, and then we... Last game, I always missed. And I think this card is so bad, even in the deck that it's meant to be in, right? Hand buff. Like, even then, the card doesn't really do much, because, as I said earlier when I described the card, you want the card to hit Torque, But this card only hits Torque when, like, Torque is your last two cards, or, like, one of your last two cards. And even then, Torque might just be the highest unit. But then, you, I guess he buffs, like, a Skags or, like, a Watcher of the Valley. So, yeah, Francis Bedlam, definitely a very... Bad card, honestly. Even in, yeah, as I said, this card will not probably see play in hand buff because it, it's just not good enough. That's really all there is to it. It's just, it, it, the archetype that it supports, it's the worst card within that archetype. So, no reason to really play this card ever. And, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more great content, and I'll see you soon.